Hi everyone. So, there is some very wonderful positive news. Um, and that is that I truly believe that the images that were released recently of Prince William at this uh, game, um, I believe that those are legitimate and that he is with his son, Prince George. Um, the only thing that I don't like is that there is another child there and you're not going to believe who my cards are saying that that is, but isn't it wonderful? And we know that Prince George is safe, hopefully anyway. Um, so uh, that little boy, our little dear Prince George, uh, was at the game. The only thing I do not like is the company that he was with. And I'll show you what I mean. In the coronation um, pictures, um, Prince George is there in that beautiful red uniform. But there is a, a boy that he was next to, and that is one of Rose's sons. The little boy that Prince George is with in these recent pictures, I believe, is one of her sons. Now, you'll also notice that the game that he was also, Prince George was also in the same place at that same, uh, watching the same team last year in April, and he looked so happy. He was with his dad and his dad only. This year, there is another young boy there. And we're going to have a look at, and see who it is, all right? But isn't it wonderful that Prince George is there, alive and well? Okay, now, let's begin. Thanks for, for joining me, everyone. By the way, just so you know, Prince George, in my readings... Um, now, he is the July 22nd um, Cancer, I would call him a Cancer Leo Cusper. He comes up as a king of wands. Isn't that wonderful? I think it's interesting that he comes up as a king because um, it, neither Cancer nor Leo are mutable. So um, Leo is fixed and Cancer is cardinal. Neither of those would be kings, which tells me that George could become a king in the future, or at least was destined to be so. So he will come up as the king of wands. Now, the if I'm right about the uh, the two other boys of um, Iris, they would be Libras. I think they were born October 12, um, her boys. All right, so let's have a look at this. Now, sorry, I meant Rose if I said Iris. Rose is a Pisces. She sometimes comes up as the moon or the page of cups, believe it or not. And Catherine, in my readings lately, is coming up as a nine of pentacles lady, which doesn't make me happy because it tells me that, um, you know, she's coming up as a single woman unmarried woman. The other thing is that Rose lately is coming up as an empress, which tells me she could be pregnant. Guys, on the pre-shuffle, there's something really wrong here. Uh, I keep getting Prince George feeling a tower in relation to his dad, um, which is weird. So let's just I'm just, just going to try it again. Prince George, who is born on July 22nd, so he could come up as a Cancer or a Leo. Prince George, what was he thinking and feeling just in general at the match? See that Ten of Swords? I'm getting all sorts of negative energy, but energy of suddenness, endings. The world is coming up repeatedly and towers. In four, please. How is Prince George? At the time that those pictures were taken, in three more. How is he? How is Prince George two more thinking and feeling? At the time that those pictures were taken. How is Prince George thinking and feeling? Yeah. 
there's the five of cups and the eight of pentacles. Sad. Sad. Depressed even. And it's about something that he was putting work into or something repetitious. How is Prince George thinking and feeling? The time those pictures were taken sad about a group of people or regretting, just depressed. Um, like his happiness was over with. How is he thinking and feeling? Here we go. Eight of Swords, restricted stress, like he couldn't see something. How is Prince George thinking and feeling? The time those pictures were taken. Uh, upset, anxious, stressed about an ending. How is Prince George thinking and feeling? There's something about an ending, putting work into an ending and a new beginning. How is he thinking and feeling? There's something about a married man here. Um, something repetitious or, or that I'm... Now, here we go again. Judgment. Uh, and the King of Pentacles. Like he was rebuilding with his dad or that his dad has been judged or... Judgment. That's not a good card here. It, judgment can be a feeling of rejection or... It can be an ending... He may have felt that his dad was under judgment. How was Prince Prince George? What was he thinking and feeling in general at that match? Uh, judgment in the future here, the three of wands. So he may have been expecting something or looking back on judgment. How was he thinking and feeling at the match in general? Stuck. Like there was some, like very focused on the future. Um, no, what he really wants, he wants to know something here. Determined to have things revealed. Determined to know something about his family. Determined to know something about his family. And there's, a, there's an ending and a new beginning regarding a family. But the world is not good here. Like someone was putting work into an ending and a new beginning. There's some woman here who's raised her sword repeatedly. How is he thinking I'm feeling? Like judged by a woman? Maybe there was a woman there supervising them or something. Who is that queen of swords? According to Prince George... Justice and judgment. It could be Rose because her son. And there's somebody obligated. Maybe there is a woman supervising there. Why is, why is there justice and judgment there? Something he feels guilty about or sad. What is there? There's shame and guilt here. Sadness about about this cheating here, the Six of Pentacles is something unbalanced, a man who's giving more to one person and less to another. Let's see how he's feeling about the other boy. How is Prince George feeling about the other, the dark-haired boy? How is he thinking and feeling about the dark-haired boy? There's his dad. There's two of Pentacles, yeah. And, and cheating, he felt like, okay, so he felt like his dad was paying too much attention to the other boy. He felt like it was unfair that the other boy was there. How was he thinking and feeling about the other boy? There's his mom and the eight of wands, something about communication and his mom. How was he thinking and feeling about the other boy, wondering what his mom would think with the two pinnacles? Uh, it's like somebody is juggling two people. How is he thinking and feeling about the other boy? I like it like it should be a high priestess secret. Wondering there's some secret information. He was thinking about some secret information about a child. 
or may, may have thought that it was risky. There's the tower. See? Um, okay. Let's look at what William knew about the other boy. There's no question in my mind that there was something wrong there. I think the other boy is Rose's son. I'm going to switch decks because you guys are getting to know the cards now and um, you may be able to see it more easily in the traditional deck. Hey, ay, ay. All right, how is Prince George feeling about the other boy, the dark haired boy? Could have been angry, by the way. How is Prince George feeling about the dark, the dark haired boy in four, please? How is Prince George feeling about that other boy in three? How is he feeling about the dark haired boy? How is Prince, in one more, how is Prince George feeling about that other boy? It's right here. Okay, he's worried about somebody communicating something. There's that Queen of Swords again. How is he feeling about the other boy? There's three coming out. There's the Wheel of Fortune. Something coming out in the open. And what some woman was raising her sword about. Could have been worried about what a woman would think or what would happen if if something came out in the open. There's his dad. How is he feeling about how is Prince George feeling about the dark haired boy? It's three. Yeah, what this is what people would say if something came out in the open in judgment. How is he feeling about that dark haired boy? Sorry, how is Prince George feeling about that dark-haired boy? Depressed about his family. How is he feeling about that dark-haired boy? That the dark-haired boy was part of his family? Jeez. How is he feeling about the dark-haired boy that he had been invited to be along? How is he feeling? Excuse me. Whoa. He feels like the dark-haired boy has been invited to be part of the family. How is he feeling about the dark-haired boy? Some kind of a communication. How is he feeling about the dark-haired boy? There's some woman raising her sword. There's something about the mother of the dark-haired boy. Or his mother. He could have been worried about what another woman would think. If they saw the dark-haired boy, how is he feeling about the dark-haired boy? Somebody had invited him along. He didn't want him to be invited. He didn't want the boy there. How is he feeling defensive? He was wondering what would happen in the future. How is he feeling about the dark-haired boy? That somebody was putting work into the dark-haired boy? And, and there's something about a walk away. He may feel like he may blame the dark-haired boy. No, whoa, whoa, whoa. He does not have good feelings about that dark-haired boy. It, the dark-haired boy is definitely a Libra. There's Pisces energy there, and Rose is a Pisces, and the sun is a Libra. He felt like something was wrong. He associates it with some kind of a choice. that He's angry about some choice. He feels like this he associates the dark-haired boy with betrayal. Yeah, betrayal and a love connection. There's a child, a love connection, betrayal, death. It's something that a woman doesn't see. How does he feel about that? How, how is he feeling about that dark-haired boy, Prince George? Wary about a high priestess secret. How is he feeling about that dark-haired boy? Wary about the father. How is he feeling about the dark-haired boy? Wary about something being discovered, revealed, found out. By the way, there's Pisces energy there. Why, why, how does he think his father feels about the dark-haired boy? How does Prince George think that his father feels about the dark-haired boy? He wants him to come along. How does he think his father, he thinks his father loves the dark-haired boy? Now, there's something about his mother. How does he think his father feels about the dark-haired boy, that his mother would be angry or... See, think his father 
Look, he associates the dark-haired boy with betrayal and an ending. Let's, yeah, an ending in the past. Dark-haired boy is definitely a Libra. Something about, something that's unjust within a family. He feels powerless. Yeah, he, he, there's something that he's very confused about. He's confused about this new beginning or confused about that child. Who walked, what is this walk away? He's angry about a walk away. Yeah, he's angry that his, he feels like his mother walked away because of the dark haired boy. His mother is coming up as a single woman here. He's very, George is very wary of, of that child. He's very wary. He's angry as well of some kind of a love contract or a choice. He wants to know a truth. He wants to, he's, there's somebody, he wants to know the truth. Look at this. He feels like there's deception, deceit regarding the dark haired boy. There's mistrust here, and there's also Pisces energy. And Rose is a Pisces. How does the dark-haired boy feel? How is the dark-haired boy feeling during the match? How is the dark-haired boy feeling? How is he feeling? What was he thinking and feeling during the match? Why was he in the Nine of Swords? What was the young, dark-haired boy thinking and feeling? Could have felt that somebody was envious or jealous or angry. What's being maintained here or managed? Now, there's his mother. Okay. How is the dark-haired boy feeling about his mom? Now, somebody who's being very defensive here. It's my cat. How's the dark-haired boy feeling about his mother? His anger and defensiveness. Now, look at that deceit lying. He's worried that deceit and lies are going to be exposed. Weird, and there's manipulation here as well. Okay, let's go back to William. This is very disturbing. How is William feeling about the dark-haired boy? How is Prince William feeling about the dark-haired boy? Why is he in the Nine of Swords? How is Prince William feeling about the dark-haired boy? Because somebody's going to be angry about a new beginning or angry about a child. As Prince, there's some information that needs to be blocked. And by the way, that's Libra energy. There's lies. There's Libra and Pisces energy here. There's no doubt in my mind that that dark-haired boy is the Libra son of Rose, the Pisces. There's some kind of an invitation. How How is William feeling with the dark-haired boy? William invited him, that's for sure. It's William feeling about the dark-haired boy. He invited him in the past. William could be worried about what's going to happen in the future. There's Pisces energy. Some kind of a plan here. It's William. William definitely, it has to do with his love toward the Pisces. What is the, what is the Knight of Cups? Something evil. Why? And there's Pisces energy here. He may feel that, yeah... He may feel that something is unfair or unbalanced. Um, and it could be because of, he may have known that his son may have been wary. How is William feeling about the dark-haired boy during that match? That some, He knew something was unbalanced. He's definitely a Libra, that dark-haired boy. He felt guilty. Why did William feel guilty? Because he was doing something sneaky. Very, because of sneaky lies, because so of that seven of swords, because of cheating. All right, there's some kind of a massive truth here. It's worried about it, it being communicated. Yeah, about lying, tricking, deceiving. There's some kind of a plan here. Some kind of a plan going on behind the scenes. 
that William is up to. Somebody he is very defensive, or he's very defensive. He loves that dark-haired boy, by the way. He wants a new beginning. Jeez, with the dark-haired boy. That's just crazy. All right. Boy. There's uh, Catherine's energy. Okay, so there's no doubt in my mind that that dark-haired boy was Rose's son. So let's see how William is feeling about Catherine to end off the reading. How is William at the present moment feeling about Catherine? How is William uh, at the present moment? One more. How is he feeling about Catherine? How is William feeling about Catherine? So this is something about a message or, or serving something or presenting a message. How is William feeling about Catherine? Now, this can be about making up stories, confusion, uh, shock. How is William feeling about Catherine? That she might be angry. How is he feeling about Catherine? This aggressive energy here. How is he feeling about Catherine? There's two people. Uh, there's a marriage and two people in a love connection. And there's something that happened in the past or a plan. What's he feeling about Catherine? Oh, look at that. There's some kind of an ending or betrayal in the past. How is he feeling about Catherine? Somebody was victimized or betrayed or hurt. There's judgment over victimization. How is he feeling about Catherine? There's some kind of news, communication related to judgment, news from her how or about her. How is he feeling about Catherine? There's communication that's being delayed or maintained or managed. There's some kind of a message that's being delayed. Um, there's some kind of a plan regarding a message or a presentation. There's a plan regarding Catherine. How is he feeling about Catherine? What is this justice card? Some kind of a wish. A it's regarding her. Something evil, selfish. Bet you that's the Eight of Cups, yeah. How is he feeling about Catherine? <clears throat> He's planning on walking away from her. How is he feeling about Catherine? Why is she coming up as a single lady? Look at that. Some kind of a proposal or something that went to her uh, uh, from the family. Is he feeling about Catherine? Could be from his father. How is he feeling about Catherine? Some kind of a ruthless decision or choice. How is he feeling about Catherine? There's some kind of a choice regarding a woman or it could be about a pregnant woman. Some other woman raised her sword. Something about a death or an ending. There's been a tower and a death or a tower, a sudden ending, a sudden death. He's defensive about defensive about her being missing or defensive about her being ill. There's something, something about uh, forgiveness and a choice or a contract. How is he feeling about Catherine? There's some kind of a contract, a major decision about a family or a marriage. There's some kind of a massive truth about a family or a marriage. A truth has been covered up. Um, he has been deceiving or covering something up about some kind of a choice. It's regarding delivery of a message or delivery of news. News about an illness, sickness, or somebody who's gone. There's trickery, lies, and deceit over illness or somebody who's gone. Trickery, lies, and deceit over communication. And this communication about judgment, which is not good. Judgment about a two of cups love connection. There's some kind of a new beginning. Um, about a, no, no. There's there's service. There's been a, a tower breakdown and a death or an ending. There's no question in my mind that he and Catherine are done. But what I'm worried about is what is this. Hope that hopefully this is just an ending and nothing more serious than that. Somebody's angry about an ending or that has to do with the death of a Capricorn. 
It could be a Capricorn who's very angry or violence regarding Capricorn. Somebody's angry about deception. Or there could be, yeah, somebody is at, somebody, he, William is feeling defensive about deception. There's something that's been concealed that he's refusing. Yeah, there's, an ending has been concealed. And, and there's some, an ending has not been exposed yet, but it will be. There's a death or an ending that will be exposed. There's a message about a death or a message about an ending. It's, and somebody's happy about it. He's happy about it. Look at that. Jeez. It may have to do with Pisces. Um, okay. I'm just going to look, just to end the reading, I want to see how Prince George is feeling about his mom one more time. How is Prince George, or I don't know if we've looked at this yet, how is Prince George feeling about his mom? Okay, there's, I don't know who that is, but there's something that happened in the past here. How is Prince George feeling about his mom? Or he could be expecting something in the future. How is Prince, he's angry. How is Prince George feeling about his mom? He's angry about some kind of a decision, some message that's been delivered to him about his home. How is he feeling about his mom? He loves his mom very much. How is George feeling about his mom? What is this Ace of Wands? He thinks there's been some kind of a choice or a decision about marriage or his family. He's upset about, what is he upset about? That information has been kept secret. He's angry because he can't access information. He feels powerless. And he's having a difficult time because he feels like he, he's powerless. Uh, I'm just going to switch decks for a minute. <coughs> How is Prince George feeling about his mom? Sorry. It's three coming out. Judgment again. It feels like he can't get anywhere, like something's stuck, and there's been some... It's like empty promises there with the Knight of Cups. How is he feeling about his mom? There's been some kind... Of, there's that difficult time, the Ten of Wands again, there's judgment or a decision, a choice or a contract, and then there's something that's not moving forward. How is he feeling about his mom? There's justice and the lovers. Like there's been a, a decision that's either not fair. He's confused in the Seven of Cups about some kind of a decision. How is he feeling about his mom? There's confusion and waiting and delay and something that's stuck. He's some, something that he can't figure out. Is he feeling about his mom? He wants to know a truth. He's having a hard time. He's having a very difficult time getting a truth. And he's constantly thinking about her. How is he feeling about his mom? He feels like he's, he's looking at a king of wands there. No, he's having a very difficult time. He's having a very difficult time. There's something... He feels like a, a Pisces could be causing difficulty. He's There's something that he wants that he's very confused about and looking for. In the He's angry because he can't find something. Is he feeling about his mom? He's angry because there's the high priestess again. He's angry because no one will tell him. He's angry because of a high priestess secret. And he's angry about an ending. I don't think he's seen his mom. He's... And there's, there is the King of Cups, that's his dad, looking at an ending. How is he feeling about his mom? Death. Ugh. Anyway, guys. Um, I, on this deck, I'm just going to ask one more time. Actually, I'm going to switch decks. Uh, what I want to know is uh, one more time who that little boy was, the dark-haired boy. When those pictures were taken, how is Prince George feeling about that dark-haired boy? How is, in three please, how is Prince George feeling about the dark-haired boy? In one more, how is Prince George feeling about the dark-haired boy? How is Prince George feeling about the dark, again, uh, eight of swords in the sun, powerless, stressed about a reveal, or being restricted from revealing, worried about something that would be revealed, 
he may not have been happy about being seen with him. He may have been stressed about being seen with him. How is Prince George feeling about the other dark-haired boy? That somebody would be angry that another woman, he felt like there was, he felt powerless, like he couldn't do anything. Felt like a woman would be angry. How was he feeling about the other child? There's some kind of a message. There's somebody, he's feeling like somebody's going to be angry, wary. The Nine of Wands. Why was he wary of that other child? Why was Prince George wary of the, uh, because of this Eight of Swords? Who's in the Eight of Swords? Judgment. What's judgment? What people would think, what people would think if they saw. Why was he worried about people seeing him with the other boy? There's news coming in to a woman. See that? He didn't want his mom to know. There's trying to conceal. There's, that's sun in Capricorn, by the way. There's a reveal. Yeah. And there's, he didn't want his mom to see. How is Prince William feeling about the dark haired boy? And three, how is Prince William feeling about the dark haired boy? One more. How is Prince William feeling about the dark-haired boy? How is Prince William feeling about the dark-haired boy? Again, we've got Capricorn energy wanting to conceal something. How is Prince William feeling about the dark-haired boy? Um, now, that's Pisces energy. He's definitely the son of the Pisces. How is he feeling about the dark-haired boy? He loves that dark-haired boy. He wants a new beginning with him. Pisces energy again. How is he feeling with the dark-haired boy? Like the dark-haired boy was being held back or a new beginning was being held back? And restricted from being with Pisces or restricted from a dream? So there's something about judgment in Pisces. How is he feeling about the dark-haired boy? Somebody would be angry or a ruthless decision about judgment. A decision to put work into him. Was he feeling with the dark-haired boy? Now we got Pisces energy and somebody being devoted and putting work into something. So secretly putting work into him. What is judgment? The moon, by the way, is Pisces energy. Judgment is something that he was stressed and worried about. He's worried. Who is in the? Who's the Queen of Swords? Uh, somebody who would be angry if they found out about it. Judgment, there, that there would be judgment if it were being revealed. He was worried about what will happen. He's worried about the consequences here. And there, there will be a woman. And there's news arriving. And somebody, news arriving about a, a decision to put work into somebody. There's William making a decision to put work into somebody. Okay, one more time. Let's see how he's feeling about Catherine. At the present moment, you know, look at the cheating. Let's look at the cheating, how he's feeling about Catherine. Cheat, cheat, cheat. By the way, there's somebody who's very ill. Look at the, look at the stomach there and the blood. He may have given her something that made her sick. How is he feeling about Catherine? At the present moment, how is William feeling about Catherine at the present moment? There's the Ten of Cups, oh, there's the King of Swords, and there's the Four of Wands. It's been some kind of a deal or an agreement. See, what I don't like about that is that's not him and Catherine, because that is the card of the second family, mixed DNA, and it's Mars and Pisces. How is he feeling about Catherine at the moment? There's been some kind of a proposal regarding a marriage. How is he feeling about Catherine? No, the Eight of Swords. How is he feeling about Catherine? There's Catherine, the Queen of Pentacles, with the Eight of Swords. The Emperor. Uh, powerless. Or that. How is he feeling about Catherine at the present moment? Guilty. 
Why is he feeling guilty? There's the Five of Cups. Okay, there's three here. Because of a walk away. And there's a deception. And there's guilt. Just a minute. There's, there, there is deception over a walk away here. How is he feeling about Catherine? It's William feeling about Catherine. There's a brand new beginning. Look at that baby there, by the way. There's the Eight of Swords and there's the past. Celebration in the past. How is he feeling about Catherine? There's a King of Wands with three children there. And there's a woman with a baby. How is he feeling about Catherine right now? There's him revealing something. How is he feeling about Catherine right now? Worried, very worried about his exposure. How is he feeling about Catherine right now? Cheating. Playing two sides. There's the cheating king and there's worries and stress. There's something very unethical that happened here. How is he feeling about Catherine right now? Boy, was he ever a trickster. Look at, look at this. There's been some tricking, tr tr trick, tricks, tricks going on. The tricks are going to be exposed. The deception is going to be exposed. Just look at how tricky. Look at how many tricks have gone on regarding Cat. He feels like he can manipulate anyone and everything. How is he feeling about Catherine right now? That's, it's, it, he was worried about being exposed regarding Catherine. How is he feeling about Catherine right now? There's some kind of an agreement or something regarding Catherine, but it's this is a really... Um, uh, yeah, there's some kind of deceit, deception, some kind of ruthless decision, and some kind of an agreement regarding the marriage. Somebody shook hands on something. He's trying to figure out. He's trying to manage something. He's trying to figure out how to keep something restricted or keep somebody's... The Eight of Swords. The King of Swords is not good. He's worried about... He's, he's taking a gamble. Worried about something. My hands are shaking. It's been a ruthless decision about some kind of a gamble. What's he thinking and feeling about Catherine right now? That's a gamble about Pisces, about Rose. What's he thinking and feeling about Catherine right now? He's worried that the Pisces woman, but Rose, is going to be exposed. How is he thinking and feeling about... Is William thinking and feeling about Kate right now? There's three. Feels like... He, he feels like he's done for... Because he knows that when something is exposed, he's going to face judgment. He may worry that he's going to go to jail with the Eight of Swords. Hang on, I'm going to switch decks. How is William thinking and feeling about Catherine right now? Let's see it again. How is William thinking and feeling? Just look at the cheating lies and deceit. How is William feeling about Catherine? Okay, in three... How is William, and two more, how is William thinking, one more, how is William thinking and feeling about Catherine right now, there's three coming out, he wants to end something, he either feels that he's betrayed her or she's betrayed him, how is he thinking and feeling about Catherine right now, no, there's been a tower, just getting these horrible cards, judgment in the tower, this is not good. Feels like he's going to be judged. He feels like everything's going to come out in the open. How is he thinking and feeling about Catherine right now? There's been a message about something coming out in the open. Oh, there's a message. It, oh, it's a message about where is she? A message about illness or sickness. How is he feeling? Or is somebody missing? What is William thinking and feeling about Catherine? He's, there's been confusion and he's he's stressed. He knows people are looking for her, but there's been some kind of confusion over sickness or illness. There's a message applying pressure. People are looking for her. He feels stressed and pressured. Right ear is ringing off the hook right now. There's a message that's pressuring him. There's been something that he's been served with, by the way. 
There's some kind of tr tricky trickster. Oh, this is not good. This energy of a trickster. But this can be a director, you see? Um, this could easily be a, a director who has proposed how to end something. How is he thinking and feeling about Catherine right now? He wants to end things with her. That's what he wants to do. He wants to control an ending. He's cheating. He could be paying somebody to do something. There's why is she coming up as a single woman? What's because he wants to walk away from her because he wants to walk away from her and end things. That's why he he and he wants forgiveness for this as well. Look at this. Oh. Some kind of a message. There's some kind of a proposal to get rid of something. Proposal to reveal something a proposal because he feels like somebody wants to reveal what happened in the past he may feel like he has no choice it's going to come around he may feel like he's taken a risk here he feels like his whatever happened it's going to be exposed or that it's risky to expose something there's a high priestess secret under here a message about exposing the truth there's a bunch of people who want the truth exposed. There's collaboration here in the past. There was some kind of a plan in the past to control something. And it ha might have to do with violence. He feels like he feels like people are going to be very angry when they find out what happened. Just for fun, let's get some messages about how he feels. I don't know if this is going to work, but I'm going to get my message deck. Seven of Swords at the bottom of this deck. What does he know is true? What does Prince William know is true regarding Catherine? Can you please forgive me and let go of the past? I can't imagine you being with anyone else, but I also want you to be happy. What does he know is true about Catherine? I'm scared that I might get hurt. Sorry that I wasn't open. You please forgive me. I know I was selfish and immature. Please forgive me. I can't imagine you being with anyone else, but I also want you to be happy. Let's get another deck. I'm going to try, I'm going to show you now what I do sometimes. I'm going to try rolling the deck. I'm going to get um, a rhythm going. What does he know is true regarding Catherine? I think the world of you, everybody does. Childhood wounding is influencing my actions. Even if you don't give me a chance again, I want you to know that I love you so much. I believe that we will be together again one day. I can see myself with you in the future. You are very special to me. Our story isn't over yet. I can see myself with you in, in the future. I hope you understand my position. I'm working up the courage to contact you. Please don't give up on me. I cherish those moments we spent time together. I don't want anyone else in my life but you. Please forgive me. She's left him. I want to make things right. There's so much I want to tell you. I regret taking you for granted. I feel like I ruined everything. There's something I'm hiding from you. I regret a lot of things I've said and done. This doesn't mean I'm afraid of hurting you, so I keep my distance. I realize what I lost when I let you go. I've loved you all along. You are very special to me. I can't help but feel nostalgic. My heart is broken, emotionally unavailable. I can't, he feels nostalgic. They're not together. Childhood wounding is influencing my actions. I'm working up the courage to contact you. I think he's working up the courage to tell us what happened. And let's get the other part of the deck. It sound, she has either completely left him or she's gone. Let's get a rhythm going. Show me how Prince William feels about Catherine. You are always on my mind. I'm sorry I was in denial. I feel so lost without you. It scares me how much I feel for you right now. I want to tell you my true feelings. I fear you will not wait for me. 
I wish you knew how grateful I am to have met you. I ran away because I felt I couldn't live up to your needs. I truly believe we are meant to be together. Well, I need to release karmic ties to be free for this connection. I'm trying to change, but my bad habits keep coming back. I'm still healing and learning with my past. I don't expect you to wait. I want to tell you my true feelings for you. I wish I could turn back the clock, do things over. I can't stand the thought of you as someone else. I'm sorry I was in denial. I feel so lost without you. It scares me how much I feel for you. I didn't mean what I said. I'm not ready to change. You are so attractive inside and out. I want to tell you my true feelings. I truly believe that we are meant together. Will you give me a second chance? I'm missing you so much. I'm so sorry for everything I've said and done. It scares me how much I feel. I think he's scared. I need time. I miss you and I want you back. I'm sorry I was in denial. You inspire me. I think that she inspires everyone else. <clears throat> I'm not ready to change. I wish you knew how grateful I am to have met you. Am I too late? I fear you have moved on. I think she has. I feel like I can't give you what you need. And I feel like that's what he wants to say to the public. Let's see what he wants to say to the public. See, something's wrong here. Something is wrong. Take off some of these. What does William want to say to the public? We get a good rhythm going. What does he want to say to the public? I'm ashamed of how I treated you. I'm afraid of losing myself in this connection. Please have patience with my fears and insecurities. You make me want to be a better person. I feel like I'm not good enough for you. Look at that. It scares me how much I feel for you right now. I want to tell you my true feelings. I really don't know how to approach you. That's why it's taking me some time. What does he want to say to the public? I'm staying away to avoid hurting you. I have to learn from my mistakes. What does he want to say to the public? Will you give me a second chance? What does he want to say to the public? What's that? I feel like I'm not good enough for you. What do we? What is he hiding from the public about Catherine? Get a rhythm going. What is he hiding from the public? What is he hiding from the public about Catherine? I was being selfish. I'm sorry. What is he hiding from the public? Okay, this one is, I want to make things right. I choose you. I choose us being together. What is he hiding from the public about Catherine? You are my one and true love, even if you doubt how I feel right now. What is he hiding from the public about Catherine? I had to lose you to realize the value of this connection. What is he hiding from the public about Catherine? I'm missing you so much. I'm so sorry for everything that I've said and done. What is he hiding from the public? Ooh, let's not look at that. I feel lost without you. Our story isn't over yet. You make me happy. I want to make things right. I'm still struggling with insecurities. You are the first person to make me feel this way. I regret a lot of the things that I've said and done. I'm sorry that I was in denial. I have so much regret for losing my chance with you. Just sorry about this. Let's try the other deck. What is he hiding from the public? We get a rhythm going. What is he hiding from the public about Catherine? Water under the bridge. You deserve better than me. Water under the bridge. That's weird. Things move too fast. I didn't know how to trust my feelings for you. I find you incredibly attractive. Twin flame journey. There's so much I want to tell you. This one is flicking. Love you today. I was pretending to be someone else. I need time to work things out. Just know that I want you. Please be patient. I love you today and tomorrow and always. I was a fool for not admitting it earlier. Can you please forgive me and let go of the past? There's so much I want to tell you. In other words, he hasn't told the public everything. Let's just see if we can get one more. Ah. Sorry. What is he hiding from the public? about? I need time to work things out. Even if you don't give me a chance again, there's so much I want to tell you. What does he want to tell the public? What does he want to tell the public about Catherine? I, God, I had to lose you to realize the value of this connection. What does he want to tell the public about Catherine? I fear you will not wait for me, but I need time to work on my shadows. I'm always on guard because I don't know how you will react when I speak my truth. My heart is broken. I'm so lost without you. I had to lose you to realize the value of this connection. One more. Something's very wrong here. Ooh, sorry. Sorry, guys. Ah! 
things he wanted to tell the public about Catherine. I didn't mean what I said. I'm scared that I might get hurt. Sorry that I wasn't open to you. It scares me how much I didn't mean what I said. It probably means that he's been lying. I truly believe we are meant to be together. They were. I'm taking my time planning the best way to approach you to do it. I'm filled with regret. It scares me how much I feel for you. He's scared. <coughs> Sorry, guys. And there was one left on the on the thing, one-sided relationship. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Bye.